like I've been a Kiki fan. Like that, you know, I'm Me one too. of the ones who grew up off of him. So, you know, when I first meet him to see my nigga singing my shit. Now nah, he rapping my shit to me. Five grand to get you buried up under land. Quiet as kept, I'm G'd up. And I'm like, yeah, look at this nigga. That nigga singing my shit, but I'm a fan of him, right? So, Dope. you know, that was just like, yeah, man, like, you know, that's that's hard. You know, I, I didn't never say nothing, but you know, I'm just like, yeah, that shit was hard. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? I'm like, nigga, I'm used to being in the car with the beans don't burn and yeah, 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 yeah. the commission to done key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, like, <clears throat> when when I talked to Kiki, I, I, would all, I was messing with him about it, and he told me y'all did that. Uh, that that project together called Messing About the Dallas and Houston thing, and he threw your name out there. I think he threw Big Tuck out there, and I think he threw... Uh, it was it was it was a, a, a few. You was there. That, I t we was in Houston at his place, and we did. He but your name because your, he said no. Me, I love Dallas, man. man. Me, me and Chief got we got we got a we got a whole project yeah, together. We, man, we love Dallas. It's I think this. Um, the way we do music is different from them because we like we say we came from the screw tape era, and just to be honest, our screw tapes didn't. Go that way mm. as hard as they. I tell people this all the time. Dallas is a very big market, and their market is more up. If you notice, and I would love for them, a lot of Dallas artists don't do a lot of shows here. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin, but they go they up. Go. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma, Arkansas, that way, which is great. Because to be honest, when you're trying to get a deal, you need to break the but Dallas market a little bit faster than you break it. The, deal, the, the majors love the Dallas market. It's just that I, I think we had more in based on the screw tape era, we had more individual legend. It's more of a legend city. You know what I'm saying? Of all these different and and our our um our fan base really follow us very, very hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't from a standpoint, I don't know if Dallas fan base followed the Dallas artists as hard as the Houston fan base mm -hmm. followed the Houston artists. So we don't have a Dallas. Houston thing, you know what I'm saying? I was in Dallas last week. I loved that. I was was there Lynch's. a lot of collaborations between artists here and artists in Dallas? I don't really see that a lot. Not a lot, because like I say, their music it's wasn't different. really coming here, and we have a we go that like for instance, I tell Pokey, Pokey wasn't a guy that did a lot of Dallas. He always messed with me. Dallas love you. <laughs> I love Dallas. I go to Dallas a lot. You know what I'm saying? I go to Dallas a lot, a lot. Slim goes to Dallas a lot. Swish House got a good movement in that. So it's all about the 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 music. You know what I'm saying? How it transitions together. Like for instance, the um we did more we did more probably with Louisiana artists mm -hmm. because they're closer and we we're more tied to them. But the point I'm trying to make it, it's not a it's not a beef thing. Like right. we don't like it. We just like 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 for instance, man. Different. We we embrace when 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 Yellow had his movement. Trap boy for me and Chief got a whole album. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and Chief got a whole album. I go to Funky Town a lot. It's just I think that like Big Tut. I'm down with all of them. We just didn't get a chance to mesh music together as we were going. Like our era is a little bit before them, and um. But but from the standpoint, no beef though. Bro, man, that's uh <laughs> like now me and Kiki and I met Kiki and Ferris. I met both of them together, okay. you know, so like they've been fucking with me since twenty ten. You know, they I, I invited them down. I had did a show. I had uh had Ross. I had brought Ross down, and I was like, man, I just want y'all to fuck with me because Ferris and Rayface, Rayface okay. Slim, brother, they he they now that north side they fuck with that chief. I didn't know they was just coming fucking with Cap doing they work, yeah. and them boys turning them on. Hey man, it's this nigga from. So I didn't know, but that's what was going on. Yeah. But you know, me and Key and Ferris met. We just hit it off, you know, and that nigga, like, like I've been a Kiki fan. Like, that, you know, I'm Me one too. of the ones who grew up off of him. So, you know, when I first meet him, to see my nigga singing my shit. Now nah, he rapping my shit to me. Five grand to get you buried up under land. Quiet as kept, I'm G'd up. And I'm like, yeah, look at this nigga. That nigga singing my shit, but I'm a fan of him, right? So, Dope. you know, that was just like, yeah, man, like, you know, that's that's hard. You know, I, I didn't never say nothing, but, you know, I'm just like, yeah, 
yeah, that shit was hard. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm used to being in the car with the beans don't burn and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the commission to done key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah, yeah, it was man. cool, man. Nah, it was real cool. And then doing the album, you know, I went out to Houston. Stayed at his crib about five days. We put that boy together. Album cover, dropped that boy. We just been rocking out ever since, doing shows together. Man, everything. You know what I'm saying? I be I break bread with bro. That's dope, man. That's real. That's that's real spill, huh? Yeah, yeah I break bread man. with bro. Man, so when you when when is the book coming, man? You, I mean, uh, I mean, we ain't doing the book. We doing the documentary. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing a documentary, so I'm in the process of doing the DFW documentary, the other side of the DFW documentary, and my own personal one Dope. is going to feed off of that. So okay. right now, we, I mean, because at the end of the day, nobody can do a documentary on themselves if you ain't did nothing about the city because nobody bigger than the city. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. you know, I'm finna tell the story from other city, from the underworld. So that's what I got going on right now. So we're in the process of doing that. I done got... Uh, Interviews from DOC. Hey, uh, so, like I'm getting all them, boy. I'm gonna get everybody that's that's who's who. But I'm also going for your street figures like your Ray Charles Fields and your, Man. your West Dallas legends, your your South Dallas and Oak Cliff legends that 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 really put their foot in this game in this in this city and really helped turn it into what it is. I'm a I'm a salute them. I'm gonna get them they flowers. Guys such as myself that was before me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I, I, yeah, and that's dope you said that because the documentaries is, is going down. That's where it's at. I, I was hearing that uh, uh, Mo3, that 50 may be working with, on a Mo3 documentary. That's cool. From what that's I'm cool. hearing. Uh, that's, that's dope. That's what I that's heard. Cool. Now, I, I ain't Jesus. seen the, you know, I hear a lot of things. Some of it falls, some of it nosedives. But I did hear that. I mean, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. That I mean, it all will be good for the city. For the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pro city, you know? But that's something that, that, it, it matches up with what you said. Them niggas never had seen this place like that. And right. that's why now, something like yeah. that could happen. Yeah, now they seen it. They know, like, but I'm here to tell them stories that were before. He ain't the first youngster that no. was laid out in the middle of the street. Wow. You know, it's plenty of them. You know, wow. John F. Kennedy. It's plenty, now, yeah. it's plenty, of yeah. it's plenty of guys yeah. that's been laid out in the middle of the street. And I'm going to get that side of the story. Now, it ain't about just cowboy boots and the white boys and, the you know, the... the Cowboy cheerleaders, now nah, it's some gangster shit that goes on around here, and that's where I'm saying the other side of DFW. That's the that's the whole thing to show the aspect, like how you can't you you don't even know nothing about the city to come tell the story on one individual. No, you gotta right. know what this city about to tell the story on any individual. No, mm -hmm. that's one. That's really one. That's one hundred, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.